Super Doppler 7 weather. 444, we look live outside on this Tuesday morning from the top of Sandia Crest. Ah, the Duke City looking lovely all lit up right there. It's 28 degrees. A cold one, not quite as cold as yesterday. We're about five warmer. Can you feel the difference in the air? Ah, when you're below freezing, not really, right? The breezes have kind of uh, have the air stirred up as well. So you'll encounter a pretty significant wind chill factor out there. We get through the cold morning. We are rewarded with a milder afternoon and look where we're headed on Wednesday up to 56. Few quiet and mild days here to look forward to around the Albuquerque Metro before we see some changes. Winter weather tries to push in for the end of the week. It does turn cooler. Yes, highs down into the 40s, but it's not the winter chill that we've kind of gotten used to lately. Well, here's when things start to get interesting. Note on Thursday, uh, Albuquerque points to the north still enjoying the sunshine, but the clouds build down south and there could perhaps even be a little rain and upper elevation snow for the southwestern corner of the state. Friday, quick hit of morning precipitation, probably both rain and snow. It's another day Friday where we have the clouds draped across the southern half of the state, but Albuquerque points to the north still enjoying the relatively quiet skies. Now the moisture spreads north on Saturday. Saturday really looking like it'll be a northwest New Mexico kind of wintry precip deal. Both rain and upper elevation snow expected. Sunday will be the day here, the first day of 2017, where the precipitation is most widespread. We all get in on the fun here with the chance for both rain and snow. You can see as this next batch of active weather comes through, a lot of us will still see temperatures in the 40s, so it's going to be a wintry mix of precipitation, but uh, something to look forward to by the end of the week. Todd.